Yo, what is going on YouTube? So lately, uh, recently I met the owner of Rogue Demon. <laughs> the, I think the day I uploaded that video or the next day uh, talking about him to update the game was actually uh, announced. He announced that he was going to be updating soon. And so we're going to be talking about what we can expect in this new update, what should hopefully come in this new update and things of that nature. So the first and foremost thing is let's talk about the movesets so likely gyoko is going to be released i don't think they should add another ability to gyoko i think gyoko is fairly balanced however it has no long range abilities i was expecting um the the a thousand needles move as the ultimate since it was like a ranged ultimate and wouldn't you know because now gyoko is completely close quarters combat meaning that if you're not close up to gyoko then you're never going to be able to uh, or the gyoko is never going to hit you so you could kind of zone it you know even with sound you know the m2 you can kind of just okay that was um even with the sound m2 blocking at range you can kind of just hit them still even so and if you're quick enough you can actually combo extend off of that so that would be the biggest problem I see with Gyoko, but a hey, pretty much every move set is not balanced and equal to each other, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, moving forward, though, moving forward, so we can expect hopefully Doki to be the early access. Even to this day, I still see Doki players cosplaying as Doki, and so that's super rare because now when they release it, we can actually get some more life brought to that scene of things because there's Doki inside of the game so i'd expect docky to be the early access move um it's probably taking them a little bit harder because number one they're pretty fairly lazy i mean with the amount of money that's made from rogue demon compared to the amount of time that's put into development is pretty off i would say i've probably spent more hours content creating and uploading videos than actual studio time i could be wrong but that's just my guess so I'd assume Docky's a little bit harder since it's like an animated uh, rig, an animated model, because, you know, she has those like rope thingies that she uses to attack. So it must be a little bit more difficult for them to make those abilities. <clears throat> but I'd expect, I'd expect Docky to be the next one. I'd expect it to have a cool idol um, when you have out the weapon, like you have this. Or, you know, for example, Love Breathing, the sword's kind of flowing, and that's interesting. So I expect Docky is the next early access. Uh, Gyoko hopefully would have had a long range ability, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the play. Um, we'll probably get a whole Gyoko as a new a new icon and things of that nature, which is I guess pretty cool. Um, but in terms of the big things to expect, which probably won't end up happening, even though I was told so, we would expect some nerfs, some nerfs. So the first thing that I would expect to be nerfed is going to be Spider String Art. Um, a lot of people actually, this is actually a very underrated moveset, despite it being one of the best zoning abusive movesets in game. You have String Slash to track your, uh, pin your player down so that you can use your basket, but you also have the M2, my bad, you also have the M2, which is literally a guard break, and then you can just, you can combo them by doing this. And so... The thing that needs to be nerfed with string performance, and I'll explain why, is the block bypass for string pull. So as you can see, I can't string pull him. He's blocking. But if I just do a block bypass, it'll actually pull him. And the problem with that is, is if you go to arrow, right, you used to actually be able to do this. You actually used to be able to block bypass with arrow. And that's no longer, they added 360 block bypass. So the fact that they didn't add it for string uh, as well is a little bit weird um, they must have forgot and then you know we, the invisibility bug with Gyoko was in the game for weeks on end and so clearly they're not too uh, fast on patching things that shouldn't be intended which is you know that's their game their prerogative but in terms of that uh, the next thing that will likely have to be nerfed is sound breathing now the thing with sound it's it's such a hard it's such a hard discussion because if you zone a sound, meaning like you run around them and not allow them to hit you to the best of your ability, it can be very annoying for a sound user to be able to combo you. However, because of string performance M2 allowing you to essentially do this and combo extend, especially if you have proper timing, I kind of nerfed out the whole 
running and being out zoned maneuver. And then if you take that the each of these abilities, let's remove the evasive because the evasive doesn't matter. And we can actually talk about why the evasive is OP in itself. But every single ability, right, is a guard break, guard break, and lastly, of course, uh, guard break. So at, everything on the moveset is a guard break, making it a very destructive moveset. And it does have a very clean one combo, which obviously, you know, a lot of things in a lot of movesets in this uh, game has um, one combos. However, they don't all have guard breaks and aren't as strong as sound. And I'm saying this as you guys watch my latest videos or even recently, just across the last weeks, I've been playing either sound or thunder. And so let's go ahead and get into why it's OP. So this is the actual one combo for it. That is the full one combo for sound. You have to move stack with the string performance, move stack with the musical combo, then do a 180 with the flashbang to make it a perfect one combo. So it's a uh, pretty overpowered, pretty overpowered. Now with thunder, thunder's a hard one. I think that a lot of people just think thunder should be nerfed for all the wrong reasons. Thunder is very, I feel like what needs a nerf is that no matter what play style you use, it can do something that is just ridiculous and i'd say the number one ridiculous thing would be godspeed but even godspeed has its counter for example if you hold block right i can't attack him because he's because he held block it doesn't break you from unblocking which is fine in itself because most try hard players will actually pin you against the wall and then use an m2 to counter that so you can kind of counter it in a way and you used to be able to hold x or a few other techniques but that is now bannable remember that so that's now bannable so don't uh actually do that or you will get banned but um godspeed is pretty much the strongest ability and it has a fairly low cooldown however i think it's balanced in the aspect that you have uh you have a very devastating evasive which is 30 seconds long one of the longer evasives i think it's actually Possibly as long as emotion art if I'm correct. Let me see. Yeah, it's the it's it's up there with the longest cooldown evasives, uh, which you know because they've been trying to ner they've nerfed thunder so badly. I mean thunder used to be a lot stronger. You used to be able to combo extend off discharge. You used to be able to um, the cooldowns for thunderclap used to be like seven seconds instead of fourteen. Yeah. Thunder was has already been through the through the through the gutter, and uh, most of the time I have easy times beating Thunder users uh, because they're usually just spam types and don't know how to actually properly use the abilities. I'll get called a spammer when I use Thunder, but that's just because I know when you're going to unblock. I know how to block bypass with Thunderclap and things of that nature. But I mean, in terms of if if Thunder had to be move stack I or nerfed. Really, there's not much that you could nerf with Thunder without just gutting the uh, gutting the move set, and it's not super powerful. It's not as powerful as Fire Breathing. Now, let me say what's OP about Flame Breathing. The thing about Flame Breathing is, uh, if you have Lock On and you have M2, oh my gosh, it is hell. It is literally like try to fight a Lock On user with uh, using Flame. It's it's pretty torturous. The same can go for every other move set like. For example, Akaza, and they use the air type. So if you have lock on with Akaza, which is Xbox users, they could literally use this and uh, they hit it every single time. The biggest problem though is they'd be like, Bo, but they're Xbox. Not all of them are Xbox, but I actually think the number one on leaderboard, uh, X Kirito, I actually beat him uh, multiple times on video. You guys can find it out beating number one leaderboard player. But yeah, so this guy uses lock on, and it is literally the only reason he could actually fight decently. So that's kind of um, a little bit tedious. But and, and it's not even just that. But you can uh, plug in an Xbox controller, get the lock on edition, and then unplug it and still play with keyboard and mouse. So even PC players can do it. Um, it's it's pretty bad with oh it's even wor honestly it's just as bad with water, dude. Cause you have flowing dance. They'll like hit you no matter what. And then constant flux hits you no matter what. Dead calm M2 hits you no matter what. It's it's uh it's pretty toxic. 
but that's a whole nother thing to talk about. In terms of everything there, I would say those are the biggest two, uh, string and sound that would be so broken that it needs fixing. Um, what needs to be buffed, Arrow does not need to be buffed. It has a very good one combo. Um, although it doesn't have any guard breaking abilities, you can block bypass with the evasive M2 and the evasive M2 in itself is pretty overpowered. And uh, the arrow explode hits you no matter what if you land it using a super dash hit. <clears throat> sickles, probably, uh, Sickles is, is scary to fight against with that flying Sickles. But I would definitely see a. I would definitely say it's evasive needs a buff. I think it's evasive is utterly pointless when you're a good player like me. You literally just dash back and use it as a combo extend. So, Akaza, uh, it's super easy. It's a super starter move set. I think it's good for newer players to understand some fundamentals of the game. Um, would it need a nerf or a buff? Uh. I would say it's I would say it's pretty fine as is. Nezuko pretty pretty strong, pretty overpowered, a lot of block bypassing, exploding blood ability stops runners from being able to run because you can even combo extend off it as well. Um, super hard to fight against. I fought against super skilled players using Nezuko, and I pretty much have to hold block the entire time. And if they hit an exploding blood, I have to run until they trigger it because it's super broken. Fire breathing, uh, it's a cool move set. I see what they did to add the M2 to stop people from being able to get away and abuse it, but the M1 is just as fine. Uh, I think ultimately they were just trying to follow through the anime and not really focusing on balance changes. But I do think that fire is a pretty strong, pretty strong. I w Does it need a nerf? <sighs> you tell me, chat. You tell me. Insect breathing has a god tier one combo like you could pretty much infinite combo with insect breathing if you time everything right but it has no evasive and so that's why i have to say it's balanced i mean no evasive means i could just one combo you and you can't really do anything but if they get me first get through my you know it's it's i guess you could say it's balanced sound obviously being able to chase combo extend off the string performance m2 and having every ability be a guard break is a little bit broken this having the one of the only long range abilities that, or actually the only ranged ability that allows you to block bypass. Now the thing with sun breathing is because I like sun breathing. I think it's actually pretty balanced considering that the fake rainbow is like a 30 second cooldown. However, however, if I were to use this, Wait a bit. I get a guaranteed roughly 50% damage. That's 50 damage. And no matter what evasive you have, what you do, you're not going to get out of that. I think if you use Hontengu Joy or Love Cat Love, you could get out of the... No, even that. Because the, the Clear Blue Sky will stun you. And what that stun will do is it'll actually potentially last the duration of your evasive. So that in itself is a little bit strong. Maybe uh, longer iframes for the person who gets Hinokami M2'd. But that is what makes Sun a little bit uh, uh, on that upper tier of play of play style. Love Breathing probably needs an, uh, a buff. It's super weak in my opinion. You could block through almost everything and if they get too close, dash back to counter the love pings and you can use that as an extension. Hontengu, yeah. <laughs> Hantanga used to be even more broken when you could use uh, Pleasure M2, but uh, it's definitely one of the best movesets in game. Super underrated. Um, I'm pretty sure if you use Hatred and then use this, you actually can guarantee a combo extend using that. So you can actually guarantee a combo extension. Try to get out of this. Come. So we're gonna actually heal him, and then we're gonna see if we can try to get out of the combo extension. So let's go ahead and do this. So yeah, that that's like a guaranteed 60, 70 damage. What's your HP? 
So that's probably, he's probably at like 30, 30 something. Yeah. So that is a guaranteed 70 damage and there's nothing you can do about it. So that in itself is super OP. Now you can block Hantengu super well, but its M1s are faster than the normal M1s, meaning that your block bypassing ability is a little bit buffed as well. Mist Breathing, I actually think is balanced. It has a guard break. It has uh, an extension. Its evasive is fairly strong, and it has Flowing Dance, that instant teleport move that has a fairly low cooldown as well. So I think it's fairly all right. Beast Breathing, other than the fact that you could zone it, like insane it's kind of like the weak sound since not everything is a guard break i think actually it might be oh yeah so the evasive actually yeah no wonder people love using beast breathing it's it's pretty strong especially i've fought a lot of top tier players and it's uh pretty tedious to fight against them with it but uh yeah i would say overall because you could zone it like crazy and there's no real chase abilities you could put it on the balanced list Tamari, Tamari, you got to know how to fight against the Tamari. But if you know how to fight against the Tamari, then Tamari is not a threat whatsoever. And that actually runs down every moveset. So I'm very curious on what you guys have to say in the comments below. I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to respond to a lot of comments and probably argue a bit because people are going to disagree. I think ultimately before you disagree with me, you need to understand that you likely are not as good as me. And likely don't have as much experience as I do fighting these top tier high caliber players. So you don't know truly the, the top tier techs that players use. Because not even I know all the top techs. And so if I don't, what makes you think that you will? You know what I'm saying? Well, I know them, but I don't even know how they do them, some of these uh, techs. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, I'm pretty excited for this update either way. I'll obviously be making a ton of videos on the update. And um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, man. Peace.